While districts are responsible for setting the policies for all of their schools, there seems to be some inconsistency in how individual schools are applying those safety measures. While North Paulding High School made national headlines after those pictures showed crowded hallways on the first day, a junior at Paulding County High says he has not seen anything like that. Caitlin Ross talked with him today. Dylan knew he wanted to go back to school face to face as soon as it was safe. And while he says he's confident his school is being as safe as possible, that doesn't mean it's the same. What used to be 35 students in the class is what some teachers have in a day. Dylan Harris says most of his classes only have 10 or 12 students now. All the desks are faced forward and they're spaced six feet apart. It's not everybody's like, oh, hey, giving each other hugs. It's hay and uh, elbow bumping and moving on. Dylan's a junior at Hiram High School in Paulding County and says for the week he's been back, he hasn't seen anything like the pictures of crowded hallways that came out of North Paulding. None of our hallways look like that. Even the stairwell, from the stairwell to the front of the cafeteria, to even dismissal time, none of our hallways look like that. Nine people at North Paulding have now tested positive for COVID-19, with dozens of students and teachers who came in contact with them now under quarantine. Dylan says they have not been notified of any positive cases at Hiram High since they started back. He estimates 80% of his classmates and 100% of the teachers are wearing masks every day, though the district is not mandating it. They're addressing that this is not our normalcy. They, we don't want this to be our new normal. Dylan was back in class at Hiram High today, but the kids at North Paulding were home learning virtually as the school is cleaned. At a board meeting tonight, the district will decide if the kids can go back in person or will stay virtual. More on that tonight at 6.